Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. Next pitch inside. Ball two. And now the lefty. The swings and fouls one off. Some real good life going to the zone on that one. 2-2 two -two now. Stays alive. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Next offering is fouled back. The 2-2 two -two now. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. The second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one out in front that time. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Back up the middle and it gets through. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice that job of using the big part the of the field to find a hole. 13. No way he Many. hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Next one misses, two balls and a strike. Kicks and fires. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just gonna have to. Cronenworth runs. Pitch is low. Throw to second. Tag, and they got him. The pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The punch out there, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Bottom of the first, and now Connor Joe. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and that's ball three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. Jose Iglesias digging in for the Rockies. Jose Iglesias. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Run around at first with one gone. Next to hit for the Rockies, Chris Bryant. Bryant. Three, two. Grounder might be two. To second, there's one. And here is CJ Crone. Good contact guy, good defender. Gonna count one and two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. And it's filled up. Bryant on its second with two down. Yeah. 
and that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but it neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. The 1-1 is cut on and missed the pitch upstairs. Hard on the ground to first. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. Now a long throw home. It's offline, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that'll do it. Back here in Denver, second inning set to go. Here's the speedy catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch is popped up. Chrome pulls that one down, and there's one away. Here's Hosmer. Batting fifth, the left fielder, number 30, Eric Hosmer. Next offering way off the plate. Swing and a miss. And Hosmer swings through it, struck him out. That's the second out. That and here's good. Luke Voigt. The first baseman, Luke Voigt. Next offering is fouled back. Pitch misses inside. Two balls, two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Just okay. miss. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Number 16. No more. Here's Nomar Mazzara. Next offering is fouled back. Point off of first with two away. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the center fielder, Yonathan Daza. And the pitch. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just the shot it through the infield. Oh, yeah. Here's the catcher, Brian oh, Servin. Yeah. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And one gone. Here's Garrett Hampson. The third baseman. At the belt and finals. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. So now the DH spot, Connor Joe. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion. Over to Kim. One. Back to Voigt. Double play. Back here at Coors Field. Stepping in, Austin Nola. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Way out front for strike two. And a one-two. 
Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now it's Trent enough. Grisham to the plate. The Good defender. Grisham. He's been inconsistent Trent. offensively. Grisham. The next nope. pitch misses, and it's two and one. Next offering is fouled back. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. Two out. So the batting order turns over. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Here's a 1 1. Slice the other way and foul. This one in the air center field. Daza makes the catch, and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. And a 1-1. One -one. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Fouls one off. Two and two. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. The wind of the pitch. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. High fly ball down the left field line. Hosmer racing over to make the catch. Here's Chris Bryant now. The left fielder, number 23. Chris Bryant. The 1 1. To the left side, but it is well foul. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. One down, base is empty. Got him. Two gone. And here now is C.J. Crone. All around, I think if you asked anyone Crone. in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. Up the middle. Gathers and throws to first. And that is the inning. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the number two hitter, Jake Cronenworth. Next pitch misses. Three and two down. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And a swing and a miss. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. The third base Here's the Manny Machado. Another Manny solid power Machado. season. Machado. Next offering is downstairs. A wind in the pitch. Inside just missed. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And now a full count. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Check swing and a 3-2. Appeal down to first, and that's ruled a swing. It's a strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. And now Jorge Alfaro. Slow roller to first. Crone picks it up. A flip to the pitcher covering. Padres go down one, two, three.
back here at the ballpark ready to go bottom four now it's the second baseman Brendan Rogers. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff the right man. Fielder, number 15. And a batter now, Randall Gritchick. 0 for 1. He Grichick. struck out swinging last time. The pitch. And now the count. 1 and 2 after the swing and the miss. The 1 2. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 1 and 2 here. And a ball evens the count. Stays alive. Two two down. And now the count filled up three and two. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. Next for Colorado, Yonathan Daza. Picked up a base hit to center his first time. The 1-1. One -one. That one missed. 2-1. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Mazzara makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. And the batter now, Eric Hosmer. Left-hand hitter waits. That one misses. Two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Next one is off the plate. And a full count now. That's a really good take. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. The next offering misses, and that's ball two. And a pitch. That misses the zone, and a count is three and one. The pitch. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Nomar Mazar getting ready to hit. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Next offering is down low. Now two balls and a strike. So the tying run at second. Gritchick on a dead sprint, racing back. Brings it in with a nice running grab. Runner tags up for third to second, but way too late. Safe there. And now it's Austin Nola. Austin Nola. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next offering is way upstairs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Snags it for the second out. Next for the Padres, Trent Grisham. Now and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Here's a 1-1. Bounced out to short. On the run, throw to first. That ends the frame.
Back here in Denver, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Brian Servin. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike two. But why to kick the pitch? And now it's even up. Right through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. So up next, Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Next one misses, and it's three and two. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now the DH, Connor Joe. The 1-1. One -one. Way high. The pitch. That's off the mark, and the count is three and one. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swung on, belted. That's back. And it is gone. A towering shot to right. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they add to the lead. It's 2-0. Jose Iglesias gets a chance to hit now. And now two balls and a strike. And he deals. Swing and a bouncer. Now the throw to first on the run. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Stepping in for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Kicks and deals. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. The 1-1. One -one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. And that one is lifted in the air. Gritchick under it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Yoli's Jesse. And he'll work on holding this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And now it's Manny Machado. Runner takes off. Ball outside. Bro, save! Man at second. And down on strikes he goes. And the Padres waste a chance. Now back. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. The 3 1. And now it's filled up. Two outs and one in scoring position. There's a line drive to left field. He can't get there. It's a base hit. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2 1. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. Well, oh, that's a big swing of the bat, driving in the run with the two bagger. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that.
Now all leave it up. Stays alive. Right-handed reliever. And fouled off. Here's a 2-2. And Hosmer swings through it. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. Out of the bullpen for the Padres, number 22. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Number 22. Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the sixth inning. Now the left fielder, Chris Bryant. Swings and misses, and one away. So now, now it's the four-hole hitter, C.J. Crone. He's 0 for 1. Crone. And a payoff pitch. Hammered on a line at a left base hit. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. We've all seen the defensive shift make no a big Number difference seven. in defending Second against pull base. hitters, but right it's there. not foolproof. He pulled it Roger. as expected, but he found a hole that time. And now, Brendan Rodgers makes the grab on the run, and there's two away. Randall Gritchick now. Now batting right fielder, Randall Gritchick. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Carlos Estevez on a pitch here. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Carlos Estevez. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's Luke Voigt. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The tying run at the plate. And the one two misses to even the count. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. No outs. Runner at first. Nomar Mazar, the next up for the Padres. Rudder at first with no outs here. Strike two. One ball, two strikes, Cap. Righty delivers. Tapped softly on the ground. Rogers fired to second. On the first in time. Double play. So now here's the DH, Austin Nola. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Here's a 1-1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. The next pitch misses, and now three and two. Three. Got it. That's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, Jonathan Daza steps to the plate. And the righty deals. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. Nope. Next pitch misses. Two and two. And the right hander deals. Off the outside edge with that one. And now it's filled up. Three two on the way. In the air left field. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. That's, That's a ball true. that a lot of times you'll oh, see yeah. the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. Started after the 1 2 pitch, appeal to first, and Gary Simmons Third punches base. him out. That's a strikeout. Garrett Hansen digging in for the Rockies. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch. The throw to second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, but that hitter out front rolled over it, put it on the ground. Three one is on the way. And a swing and a miss there. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. That one to first, and that's just foul. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Move to first. Hampson gets back easily. Three two now. Swing and a ball popped up. And that will end the inning. So they turn things over to the righty, Alex Colomay. He's been so good against lefties. Alex Colomay. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. Colome deals. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. That takes care of Grisham. And there's one away. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Up now the Padre leadoff man, Hassan Kim. Here comes a pitch. So now one and two. Really good cutter that he's able to front door and back door. That pitch is devastating. Right hander kicks deals. Stays alive. Next pitch inside. Two and two. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Feeling for the wall. Makes the catch in foul ground. And here is Jake Cronenworth. One for three. Jake Cronenworth. The next offering misses. And that's ball two. Looking to get the tying run on base. Good eye right there. Three balls. The three one. There's a strike. Thank you.
the pitch. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Machado. The 2 1. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Cronenberg leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering upstairs. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly there in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Robert Stevenson takes over on the mound. Out for the 30th time this year. Robert Stevenson. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Jorge Alfaro. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are aboard. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. And the next pitch is way outside. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Third out. Back now. New pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Nabil Prismak. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jose Iglesias. And here it comes. And that's outside. Kicks and fires. 3-2 now. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. That's to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he beats it. He's safe. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. So in now for Colorado, Chris Bryant. And a 2-1 on the way. Good eye right there. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. C.J. Crone digging in for the Rockies. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. The pitch. And there's the strike. And the pitch. Stays alive. One run game. One out. One on. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Grisham gliding to his right. Makes the grab after a long run. And there's two away. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra no bases Number for sure. Seven. Probably needs second a second to catch his breath. Run, if the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second run, to catch his breath before he's ready to deal run, the next pitch. Run around the goal. There's the ball. Throw to second. Ow! And that'll end the inning. Daniel Bard gets the call to the mound. He comes on for the 35th time this year. All set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's Eric Hosmer. That 
That one pulled foul. Here's a one two. That's the third. To first. Now one gone in the ninth. Luke Voigt will step to the plate. Known for his late inning heroics. And a pitch. Swings through that one. Got so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch up. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Oh, and he whiffs on it. He's in there. Now it's the right fielder, Nomar Mazzara. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. The next pitch misses. Now three and one. At the belt and fires. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. Pitch running here. C.J. Abrams. He's two outs away. Now it's the D.H. Austin Nola. The pitch. Strike three. Got him swinging. Padres with only one out remaining. Substitution now at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, Jose Azokar. Now it's going to be Trent Grisham trying to deliver as the hero. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Next pitch misses way outside. Well, oh, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next showing a lot of fight right now and they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game fly ball down the line Gritchick drifts towards it and he's got it ball game and the Rockies strand the go ahead run to hold on for the win he closes out his 50th career save so that one has a little extra meaning to it you don't collect this many saves by accident another job well done